everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and welcome to Freshwater Fridays. Today what I'm going to be doing is making room in my fish room for all my summer tub fry. Let's see what I got to do. I could actually just bring them in, that tank's empty. Just, you know, put them in that tank, half water, half pond and then water changes so it's nice and clean. This tank, that tank, that tank, that tank. Like I have random empty tanks just for this purpose. But I don't want to do that. I, this is my opportunity. I really want to upgrade those blue dolphins into a larger tank. Okay, so then I would have to move that tank over to here. I could put the Embudas there and uh, my Eastern Painted Turtles there, because that's a nice size tank. It's a 55 gallon. I can't really reach in here, so I need fish that are going to be self-sufficient in there. Like, it's my opportunity to move things around. I can change the channel on my mind so quickly just by seeing a shiny thing. Like that. <laughs> so I don't want to get lost in the move. So what I'm going to do, let me get my whiteboard. I'm going to take this whiteboard and mark on here, here's all the fish that are moving and where they're going to. And here's the actual things I have to do to accomplish that. Not that this is a problem, but this is my schedule. This is my sub starts with September schedule for water changes. So as you can see, these are the tanks that I've done water changes on. So I still have to do the basement, the kitchen, and those three tanks. So I, I needed a chart to make sure that I'm not missing that tank and that tank and that tank that are like their own ecosystem that work just fine on their own. There's a the perfect balance between live plants, bio load, snails, movement. I have to remember every once in a while I have to change that water, but that, those tanks I do very small water changes that way, but I do have to be reminded which tanks need to be a little bit of water change, huge water change. So I'm going to erase that and I'm going to trust that my tanks will be fine during this project. <laughs> I think I have at least the next week, the forecast looks great, aside from the rain. But I have to, I have to be ready. So if I look on the weather and there is a turn for the worst and all of a sudden it's going to be super cold for four or five nights in a row, I have to know that I can bring my fish in and put them where they got to go. So I'm going to start. Let me start with my whiteboard. Moving the Embunas over to that tank, the Gudgeon Gobies and the, what was that? Rose Battis. I'm going to move that up with the one CPD that's left. All the male betta fish are going to come over here in their individual, I think they're all in five gallon tanks. Um, the blue dolphins to the 21. And that's going to free up these tanks for my summer ponds and all the, all the fry that's out there and the turtles that's out there. And in order to accomplish this, these are the things that I have to do. So, let me get started. I'm to start to accomplish some of these things. First, I put egg crate on the bottom so that the rocks weren't crunching against glass. Change the setup to be more long and flat. Then this one was piled high and pushed in the back. Now there's just the whole thing is rock. So they can actually hide up front now. Here is my African cichlids now. Let me see what it looks like from over here. Oh yeah, look how pretty. Do something in there. Buddy. Oh my goodness, what are you doing in there? Who are you? Where'd you come from? I wonder, is that a rose baddest? Oh, pal. I got all buddies and not you. Looks like there's two pygmies. Oh, I better get them out of there. Huh. I'm glad I looked. Oh, here he is back there. 
looks a little angry, doesn't he? So these are my uh, tiny little bed of tanks. And this is the tank that I put my Gudgeon Gobi. I had one CPD, my Rose Battis. And I had two little clown plecos in there that I thought I had lost a long time ago. I found them while emptying the tank. And this is the 20 long grow out tank that I moved my blue dolphin cichlids into. I think they're going to be very happy here for a little bit until I get the 75 gallon set up. I'm setting that up down in the basement. After I have my oil tank removed, that'll give me a lot more space to set up my monster tanks. Well, I think I got most of that done. I am ready to go fishing for some fry in my summer tubs. Grab them out of there. I'm going to leave the white clouds out for a couple more weeks because they can take the cooler temperatures. And I'm going to bring the rest in. I have moved my blue cichlids. I've moved the peacock gudgeon goby, the rose baddest, a couple of small clown plecos. I moved all my betta fish down onto another rack. I've moved my ambunas on top of my goldfish and I freed up some tanks. So I think I'm ready. So part one done, getting the whole move done. I didn't think I'd get it done in a week. So I'm so happy I did. Now, whether it's going to stay a cold spell or not, I don't think I want to risk any fry that I may have had. So I'm just going to grab them and bring them in. Well, that's what I have to do to get ready for my summer fry. It was absolutely worth it. So I really appreciate you guys coming along with me while I rearranged. I didn't rearrange my fish room. I rearranged all the fish inside the tanks. And that seemed to be quite a task. So thanks for checking out and I will see you next time.